So let's get started. So I would like you to imagine that you're in a wolf in the forest. The sun is shining, the trees are green, and the birds are singing. So then you walk into something. It sticks to your face. You can't get it out, but it's really tough. You walk into spider silk. And there you have the whole reason for why I do research on spider silk. It's one of nature's strongest materials, and it even outcompetes the strongest man-made fiber of today, which is Kevlar. So it's more than three times the stuff as Kevlar, which we use for bulletproof vests. And other great stuff about this material is that it's biodegradable, and it has been used in traditional medicine for wound healing. And it's even been used in peripheral nerve regeneration. So researchers have been trying to make artificial spider silk fibers in the lab for quite some time now. But why? Can't spiders do it for us? Well, spiders are territorial and cannibalistic, but they could try. So you could put a spider into one of these machines and really it spills onto spools, after which you could make a scarf. But it would take you 70 people, four years, and a million spiders to make a scarf, which is around one by three meters. So that is obviously not working. So instead, researchers are producing spider silk proteins in bacteria and have done so for more than a decade. But no one has been able to actually spin silk fibers that even resemble native spider silk fibers. So we decided to turn to nature and look at how the expert, the spider, spins its silk. So spider silk proteins that make up the silk are produced in abdominal glands. So we found that these highly aggregation foam proteins are stored in a soluble state in the beginning of the gland thanks to the high pH, which is present here. And as pH is lowered, the protein changes their structure and turn into a solid fiber at the end of the gland. So knowing this, we turn to the lab and ask ourselves, how can we spin biomimetic spider silk fibers? So we produce our spider silk proteins in bacteria, we purify them, and we concentrate them to the same extreme concentration as in the spider silk gland. And we then mimic this gland that we have capillaries. And for the first time ever, I'm now able to show you some really cool videos of spinning spider silk fibers in the lab. So we get continuous fibers that we can roll up onto those small frames, or we could do it on bigger frames, or we could do it on even bigger frames if we wanted to. And if you look carefully to the bottom right, you will see beating cardiomyocytes on a spider silk scaffold. So we can use this material for a bunch of cool stuff in the lab. So who knows, in the future, maybe we'll be walking around with a heart made of spider silk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marie. That's, that's, that's it. No need for it. Uh, uh, please, if you're uh, Yes. This was a very nice presentation. And I think you got the message through and, and caught everyone's attention. We had nice uh, photos and uh, the film running really showed you, you really understood what's going on. So I think that was great, uh, very clear. Maybe you use, sometimes you use the term ter terminology. That was uh, a little bit difficult for everyone to understand. Uh, so, so you can make it simpler and, and still get the same message through. I'm a little bit biased here because I remember you from one of my courses. So, uh, because on the other hand, I'm very happy that you learned of the lot of presentations of mine. Uh, and uh, I mean, of course, this is a, an extremely fascinating subject. So, it, it, it's basically an open door for for the listener is to, to learn about all the possible use for spider silk. Because uh, you also made a very good presentation, I think. Uh, and okay, there, there was some scientific lingo, which for, for somebody like me is a bit difficult to understand. But on, on the other hand, it sort of makes you understand the importance of it. Mm. It enhances the importance of the, it, It's not really a problem. You know, I, I understand. I don't understand anything of it, but I understand that it's very complicated. 
Yeah, so we have the event, and uh, I, I went on a very precise, uh, and it's, we had a good preparation for this. Uh, I felt that we had re- rehearsed it uh, a lot, and uh, uh, when it comes to performing, uh, I thought it was extra nice to see that uh, we love what we talked about. Yeah, it, the, you, you kind of go with the energy uh, of, uh, isn't this wow cool? And, uh, and you know a lot about it, and uh, it really came out so, so very good job. Okay, now it's your turn to, to vote. So, Magnus is collecting the post-its, and on the phones, please vote. And the jury. All the votes in now. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so I'll 